Hello everyone. Today I want to demonstrate how to achieve the effect of old unmouse enter method in the new input system. For example, when you hover the mouse over a game object, the game object's color will change. We know that the new input system of Unity doesn't support the mouse behavior methods, which has been mentioned in the official document. But we still can find a way to achieve the same results using the new input system. So let me show you. This is an empty project using 2020.3 Unity version. Quickly download the input system. During the installation, it will ask if you want to disable the old input manager. Click Yes, and Unity will restart automatically once and be ready for use. Now, if you go to File, Building Settings, Player Settings, you will see the input system is installed now, and meanwhile, the input manager is disabled. In the input system, you can click to create input settings. It will generate a new file, which includes some parameters. It's not important in our case. Without it, it still works. Now go to the main camera. We add a component called a physics recaster. And then let's create a game object, for example, a 3D cube. Then we create a C sharp script named mouse over and attach it to the cube game object because we need to use the event system so we add it to the scene it is in the ui category if there is already an event system in the scene which typically was added uh, automatically if you have used any ui game objects then you don't need to add uh, event system manually now in the event system we click the button named Replace with input system UI input module. So we let Unity know that we want to use a new input system. Now let's work on coding. First, add event systems in namespace. Second, add two more classes behind the model behavior to handle the mouse enter and the mouse uh, exit events. Third, we call two functions here and put two debugs to help checking the status. Back to Unity in play mode. Now you can see if the mouse hover over the game object. The debug shows enter. And if the mouse moves away, the debug shows exit. So that's it. Very simple. Now I want to talk about the layers. If I change the event mask of physical uh, recaster to nothing, you can see that the game object is not interacting with the mouse anymore. It doesn't feel the mouse hovering. So if you have many uh, different game objects, you only want to some of them interact with the mouse, then you can put them in a specific layer. For example, I call it a pickable layer for layer 9. And change the event mask of physical recaster to pickable as well. Now you can see only game objects in the layer called a pickable can interact with the mouse. Certainly, we can extend the method in many different ways. For example, we want the game object to change to a different color when the mouse is over it and return back to its original color when the mouse is away. So we can define a current color and find its uh, component. When a mouse is on the game object, the color changes to yellow. When we move the mouse away, the color changes to an original color, uh, whatever it is. So in the play mode, here we go. Da -da, it works.
As I mentioned before, in this case, we don't need the input settings asset. So even you didn't create or delete the existing one, um, now you can see in the build uh, in the build settings, player settings, input system package. Now it's empty and ask you to create a settings asset. So even without it, our method still works, as you can see here. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.